Anatomy is the study of human body structure. There are two main approaches to anatomy studying, systemic and regional anatomy. Let's talk about systemic anatomy first. Uh, it describes human uh, body organ systems and the system is made of many organs that uh, subserve, carry out complex functions but with the same scope, the same aim at the level of the whole organism. Let's talk about the locomotor system first, because this is actually the scope, the topic of our course. As I said, it is composed of the skeletal, articular and muscular system, as they work together to produce body movements, locomotion. And even if the main players in the locomotion are bones, joints and muscles, you should know that other systems are involved as well for example, cardiovascular system. So while studying systemic anatomy, you should always remember that actually none of the systems works in isolation, functions in isolation. And every one of them is actually dependent on, relies on, and at the same time subserve the other systems. The second main approach to anatomy studying, regional anatomy, considers topographical organization of the human body and divides it in regions. Again, while studying regional anatomy, one must keep in mind that the same organ or structure can actually be located or run across many regions of the body. Speaking of clinical, there is yet another approach to anatomy and it is called clinical or applied anatomy. This course, called Motion and Strength, aims exactly at this. To be more specific, first, the biology and anatomy of the locomotor system will be discussed on cell and tissue level. Then bones, joints and muscles will be described through regional approach in different parts of the body. Throughout the course, at each level of the locomotor system study and in every region examined, numerous applications of the knowledge will be indicated even if the primary task of this course is to teach basic biology and normal human anatomy of the healthy locomotor system, yet it is disease that actually sheds light on the importance of the normal structure and function. Hence, the great majority of questions, problems and answers that you'll find following the links included in this course actually deal with common pathologies in order to show the clinical relevance of the basic biology and normal anatomy. I hope you have good time studying. Please follow me on the discovery of the structures involved in the motion and strength of the locomotor system in this online course.